All right, all right, all right, all right. I haven't made a video about Notion updates in a little hot sec. So I need to drop some knowledge for y'all. The reason I need to drop this knowledge is because they actually make a lot of really nice updates recently and I, you gotta see what's up with this, okay? So first and foremost, I'm not actually a big fan of implementing this because of the fact that I have a lot of custom templates made. However, inside of a system like this, I just wanna show you that they added something called tabs to the system. So if you go to customize layout now and I click off, you can either have the simple layout for the structure or a tabbed layout, okay? Now, what does that mean? First of all, that means you can have separate tabs where you have databases showing, okay? So just to be clear on what that means. In the page settings, that was not the case very recently. It's only been a couple weeks it's been out. And also there's this option that by default, you can have full width pages instead of having non-full width pages, or I guess narrow pages, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> So I'm gonna press apply and if I open up a new tab, even though there's no template showing, if I open it up, it's gonna be a full page, which is really cool. That's never the case, hasn't been the case in the entirety of the history of Notion that you could do that. You can only do it on a template level, which sort of makes it a default, but I think it's a great improvement. So let's click off into the space here and we can press tabbed. So let's dial down what this means, okay? When I press that, it starts off with it saying content, okay? So you can name this whatever you want. You can add a, you know, movie logo, I don't know. You can, you can do whatever you want so this is content but when i press plus it says related to internal content what what does that mean so if i press this oh shoot rp subtasks that's the subtask connected to this don't tell me that wait let me do checkbox which is my like status property assigned to maybe qa manager oh what do you mean oh goodness Check this out. All right, so this is intriguing. You know, we have content, which this is like the basic tab, right? Excuse me, that's pretty incredible. I can have people take a look at what the actual tasks are without having to have it in this side corner thing. Now, I like it like this. However, some people don't. I might talk to my team and they may say, oh, dude, yeah, totally. Please change this and change this to being called subtask. I'm going to leave it here for now just in case. But as you can see, this gives you more options to customize your layout without you having to do a trick that I've done forever, which is called the self relation filter, where essentially you can make views of, you know, your same spot, the same database inside of here. And then the other databases you have to put into a template that the database right here is called content BAU and that this database is connected, it does this automatically. This is amazing. So I could add as many of these tabs as I pretty much want. I have obviously subtasks. I got what else? Where's the content inspiration come from? Is there a sponsor connected to it? What affiliate links are there? Anything like this. Pretty much. The ideas are kind of endless. Now, you don't actually even have to link it to what is related to the database. You can actually just link existing database that exists in general. So I could just grab the same database as well and utilize that new view. And you can make a new relation. I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're trying to add to it. So I can add this view and then just set a custom filter. Now, I'm trying to record this and it's a bit laggy because of the size of my database, but Let's check it out. I could filter this to whatever I want. All right, now I would not recommend using a large database because as you can see, it's crashing my computer since there's no filter on it. Let's pick a different database. <laughs> maybe just the affiliate links database that I have, which is decently small. So I can just grab this. It can be any database. Let's just grab the affiliate links database. All right, press add view. And if you want to add a filter, you totally can. That's fine. But point being, rather than someone needing to alt tab and go into a different database, they could just simply be like, oh yeah, wait a second. What are the affiliate links that exist? Let me just check here. Very nice. Now they could make improvements on this. I, I do think having the ability to change the name of it without having to go into customize layout would be kind of nice but yeah you can change it in here just put affiliate links and then you can change the properties pretty easily you can change obviously it doesn't have to be a table it could be any of the different layouts that are normal with a notion and if you don't want any of those in here we don't need constant calendar i think this is fine honestly this list here yeah this is good oh wait actually i don't like i don't need bitly link that's not the right one anymore we changed the name of that so click on it create a bitly link leave the link drip link in the description text and the original url all right cool let's do it nice okay cool and once again it's weird because i can't like click on this and edit it like a normal database view but i can when i'm in customized layout so I'm not, it's hard to not get used to that because i usually interact like this okay very very intriguing to my eye on this i'm gonna have to ask 
the team what their thoughts are. But as you can see, there are some visual bugs like QA manager should be cut off here rather than it being as such that, yeah, I don't like how the last one doesn't get cut off. That's weird. Maybe they'll make adjustments to this, but overall pretty good. You can even do advanced filters, which always prevents people from changing the filter if they don't have uh, edit access to the database system so that's good um but I, I would call out overall that as much as this is a nice addition i think it's very interesting it could totally change your layout or it could just be something that exists you know it doesn't have to be anything too complicated you already have sections inside of the customized layout that are pretty good i like that personally you go over to the property groups and you can add sections for anything you want which is nice overall where you can add sections like this like this can say main info for example, for, for these properties. But connecting it to other databases, not something I thought I'd have on my checklist or my referent to what's possible here. So pretty cool. The only weird thing I don't like is that this line now, right? You see this? It's cut off here, but like, what if I want these relations showing on each tab? Yeah, not my favorite on that. The main one, you can have the relations showing like this or whatever properties you have there, but not everywhere. So definitely a different perspective than previous, but there might be trying to make client portals and stuff. I'm not quite sure. Like, like this is a pretty interesting adjustment they're making. I'm curious to see whether they'll do more than just having the databases here, but that's that's pretty much all I have for you with this video. Just wanted to show you some of the capabilities of this so that you get ideas of your own. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Try all of the different options. I'm making sorting adjustments right now to keep it like that. Let me know your thoughts and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.